Hi, welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio. Hope all are doing good and staying safe. So in today's video, we'll be looking into preliminary estimates. So as you know that for any construction project, there are some elements that needs to be included as a preliminary. So in any project, if you do a rate analysis, the most important thing as you know is the materials, then you have the labor, then the different equipments, tools, consumables. So other than that, to carry out the administration activities of a site, you need to include certain elements, certain cost inside the preliminaries. So that is what I'm going to explain to you in this video. So for that purpose, I'm taking an example from a project based in UAE. I'll be showing you the preliminary cost that is given to the contractor by the client so that they need to work out the cost for that. So from that, it will be more clear. You will get a more understanding of what the different prelims are. So this is mostly common for all the project all over the world. So it is very important to make sure to include all the different cost inside a preliminary because if you miss out something, then it can be a reason one of the reasons for the loss of that project. So make sure to include all these elements. The estimation part will differ depending upon the type of project, how long it is, how big it is. So based on that, the estimate part will vary. And uh, the most important thing is to actually include all these activities, the initial activities, so that a proper estimation can be carried out and a successful completion of the project can be achieved. So let's move into the video. So this is the preliminary part of a project and it is based in UAE. So the basic idea of, of this video is to help you understand what all needs to be included under this section. So the first here you can see is use and protection of the site. So for that purpose, there are different subheadings here. If you go through it, allow for providing an office compound and site. For workshop and planned etc so you know that every project will have a site office before starting the project you will need to clear the site properly find out the location where you can build the site office it will mostly be a temporary office sometimes it will be just a porta cabin so you need to clear and make that area proper so that the office can be properly assembled for that purpose then estimate needs to be done then allow for covering up and protection of the work from weather and damage by his own or other workmen performing subsequent operations including providing all necessary dust sheets barriers card rails and clearing away the same at completion so once the project is under the handover stage, you need to estimate some cost to protect that completed work using different methods. Allow for carefully protecting finished work, including that of subcontractor. Since the subcontractor will be under you as a main contractor, you need to also include some amount, a budget for taking care of their works also. Allow for temporary covering and barricading to excavation and other hazards. Allow for keeping site road, footpath and any adjacent areas affected by the works clear of debris and other rubbish during the progress of work and at completion and for making good all disturbed works and ground to the entire satisfaction of the engineer. So this is again an allowance is provided to keep the site clean, clear and protect the site from different hazards. So this is the main purpose of this section where all your temporary site off is related and protection of the works after completion is estimated and the needful is done next comes the contractor site administrative arrangement so here if you see there are different subheading site administration supervision security safety health and welfare of work people transport of work people so this is mainly the indirect staff related expenses that needs to be included so the direct staff that is your workers the labor all that will already be included under your 
each specific items inside the BOQ will be pricing under each item. But for your indirect staff, your engineers, your supervisors, foreman, your site administrative staff. So all these expenses, the site indirect related expenses will be included under this preliminary part. The site administration will include all those important requirements that is needed to run the site. You'll need to have furnitures, seats, tables, laptops, computers, shelves. So all these different items the cost for these items needs to be included here supervision will include the salaries of these staff your indirect staff your engineers supervisors admin all those salaries will be included here security is mostly you need to have some security related activities like cctv cameras or there might be some barriers, some requirements that needs to be provided to maintain a safe environment. For that purpose, all those estimate needs to be included here. Then the safety, health and welfare of work people, the safety gears, helmets, shoes, coveralls, all these items for your staff, for your indirect staff will be included here. The transportation of your indirect staff needs to be included here. So this is what the site administrative arrangement is. Next comes the construction plan, allowance for the construction plan. So this is mainly for the preliminary activities, not your actual work activities. Plans and tools, scaffolding, cranes, lifting equipment, site transport. You will need some lifting equipments or cranes to bring the temporary structure or your porta cabins to the site, your offices. Scaffolding mostly will be for your actual work. You will not be able to estimate the scaffolding requirement for each work. So in general, what is the scaffolding requirement for the complete work will be included. Then the small plant and tools to carry out all the preliminary works will be included here. The site transport again for transportation of all these temporary structures or items from the vendor to your site. All these will be included under here. Then other plans or equipment that is required for completion of the work, satisfactory completion of the work. Next is the contractor's facilities. Allow for providing following facilities including altering, adapting or relocating to suit the progress of the work and for clearing away. So the offices, stores, mess rooms, etc. So the main office, you might be renting it out or you might be constructing it, a temporary structure, you will be constructing it. So the cost related to those will be included here. You will have offices, then stores for storing your different materials, your work related materials then canteens, mess rooms, so all these will be included here. Then the sanitary accommodation inside your office, you will have all the sanitaries. Then for your workers, you will have a different sanitary area. Then temporary hoardings, different safety related hoardings, your project related details you will have. If you, have, you can see outside each project, a big boarding showing who the contractor is, who the client is, so all those related costs will be put up here. Then the roads, hard standings, etc. You'll need to build you might need to build a rod temporary rod for the proper access to the site to the site office so all those related cost is put up here then temporary telephones will need to get access to the telephone system here you can also add the internet facility also not sure why it is not added so internet telephone the fax all this can be included under this part then firefighting equipment for the site will need fire extinguishers that will be a requirement to be installed in your office and in your site so that can be included here then the drinking water facilities you will need to have water storage tank so that for your staff and your workers you can provide them with drinking water temporary water supplies and distribution sometimes for the site water requirement there might be another storage tank for that purpose then the electrical supplies again for your site office to work properly you will need to have electricity arranging that and the monthly expenses for that the utility bills that and the temporary water supply also utility bills all those can be included here and other plants or equipments to be included then comes the employer's facility so as a main contractor it is your duty to provide the employer with all the facilities required again for them to administrate the work so if you read through the contractor shall provide and maintain proper office facilities on site complete with the provision of office furniture and equipment for the sole use of the client and the engineer or his representative the construction must be sound waterproof fireproof and well insulated and the office is to be furnished and equipped all the satisfaction of the engineer as soon as the contractor has been given instruction to proceed with the works he shall immediately present to the engineer his layout plan 
of the office facilities for approval and arrange for completion within two weeks of the engineer's approval. So all the facilities required for the employer and is representative, the client consultant. It might be provided. The requirement will be given by the client. So based on that, again, all the estimate for that purpose also needs to be included under this prelim section so here in detail they have given what all is required for the engineer three number offices shall be provided for the engineer or his representative with two adjacent bathrooms and one kitchen facilities the size of the office shall be six into four meters this is for engineer then for the employer one number office shall be provided for the employer or his representative with two adjacent bathroom facilities including kitchen facility the approximate size of the office shall be six into four meters then meeting room one meeting room shall be provided with an approximate size of four into eight meters sample rooms so all the facilities shall be made of portable or solid construction with pvc carpet floor covering and adjacent bathroom and kitchen facility so based on each client their requirements it will differ and accordingly the estimate needs to be done then continuation of that is the different types of furnitures required how many fax machines photocopy machines type of chair desk size so you can go through it the printers what type of printers are required an office boy also needs to be provided to them from your end so for the cost related to that all these needs to be included here air conditioning so you can just pause it and read through it the meeting room what all the meeting room should consist then the health and safety protection requirement for the client and his representative all the safety shoes helmets all those also needs to be provided to them and the cost needs to be included then the telephone internet lines or okay, internet lines requirement is put up here so you can estimate that and include it here the telephone again for employer the telephone requirements for telephone lines to be installed on site one for the employer, three for the engineer, one fax for local UA and mobile calls. All these related costs is put up here. The internet line, Wi-Fi or whatever is required is put up here. Site notice board. The contract shall provide maintain to flood lighted notice board for the site. The site notice board shall be in accordance with sketch. Different requirements are put. So here this is the uh, I had explained layer the previous part that temporary hoarding so i think the site related notice board that is the project name all those is put up here you can include it here so that was just a temporary hoarding section where the different safety related boardings are put up all over the site you, you must have seen that work is under progress or like that different instructions are put up so for that purpose is the temporary hoarding so this is the main site notice board related details of what the project is who the consultant is contractor is that requirement is put up here then comes the car shaded parking in the parking for the employer engineer visitor and also for the contractor staff all those needs to be included under here the car parking related cost then the photograph contractor shall provide to the engineer each month 12 colored photograph included in the monthly report showing work in the progress on the site so that cost can be put here under this section two copies of each photograph shall be provided with the description and the date of the taking incorporated on the on the back of each print and after completion of contract contractor shall provide two numbers approved professional framed and mounted photograph of the development selected by the engineer with an overall size 500 mm into 400 so photograph related cost is included here clearing away at completion allow for clearing away rubbish and leaving the site tidy at completion so all the clean, clearing away activities once the work is completed is included under this part cleaning on completion allow for cleaning the building inside and outside so this is clearing the site and this is cleaning inside the building building permit and site demarcation allow for obtaining the building permit and site boundary demarcation certificate from sharja municipality so based on the municipality requirements you will need to get some permits some local authority permits municipality permits so all the expenses related to that also need to be considered setting out and surveying allow for setting out the works and preparing level survey for the initial setting out purpose surveying you need to give a report on this about the different levels and do a proper survey of the entire site so that is considered under this section local authority workmen allow for giving access to workmen employed by the local or other authorities and providing them with attendance as required once you request for electricity telephone or internet there might be some local authorities who will be coming to set up all those lines install and provide you with that so for that purpose sometimes you will need to 
pay them something or you will need to coordinate with them so for those activities the cost is included here diversions of services allow for protecting existing services and for giving notices to the relevant authorities to arrange for any necessary service diversions and for providing attendance during diversion work so for setting up the different activities sometimes there will be some existing lines some underground cables or some other related pipes underground pipes so for protecting those you will need to have some cost for that you will need to notify to the authorities about this and sometimes some work needs to be done related to protecting these already existing structures the utilities so utility lines so it's for that purpose the cost needs to be incorporated here samples allow for providing samples of materials and workmanship as required sometimes for final approval some samples of different materials mainly the finishing materials tiles or wallpapers or some paints or something like that your sanitary fixtures MEP related lights so some samples will be required for uh, approval by the client final approval so for that purpose the cost related to that is included here then testing uh, works allow for carrying out tests on materials and workmanship required this is not the work inside the building that testing and commissioning will be already included inside your BOQ for each particular work this is for the works that is being considered under the preliminary activities like sometimes for acs or electricity works inside your site office or your client office so for that purpose all those testing activities that related cost can be included here then inflation cost allow for inflation in building cost during the progress of the work so some percentage can be included for as a risk factor sometimes the cost might increase your copper cost cement or any important material cost might increase as the work most as it progresses because you cannot predict how high it is going to be so for that purpose some allowance can be included here the as built drawing and maintenance manuals allow for providing engineer with one copy of as built drawing and maintenance manuals so once the project is completed some as built drawings and maintenance manuals needs to be provided to the client or the consultant related cost printing cost photocopy cost sometimes they will require soft copies all those then allow for complying with the conditions of contract insurances and performance board so the insurance company or the banks will require some percentage or amount as a fees or as a requirement to furnish them with the required performance guarantees or different insurances workman insurance policies or material insurances contractor all risk insurance so the different insurances required as per the project requirement based on that the authority fees or any cost included for that that is informed by the bank or the insurance company can be included here and finally any other conditions that is not included in the above which is given by the client as a main contractor you can also estimate and add here the different cost and based on the discussion between you as a main contractor and the client these costs can also be finally negotiated and then the total price can be negotiated so this is how a preliminary cost is estimated so hope this video is clear so you must have got an idea about how the preliminaries are estimated what are the different activities that needs to be included under preliminaries so this estimation of these preliminaries are a very important role or responsibility of a quantity surveyor so hope this video was informative like all other my videos and if you liked it do like this video do share it with your friends your colleagues do put up your comments if i have missed out something do let me know through the comments so that it can be useful for others who are watching this video thanks a lot for watching take care bye